This is a disclaimer to the man who's saying, talking to Nimrat. <laughs> don't watch this episode. That's, this that's the one. You know, or, or this person is not going to make the first, um, mm. the first move because of certain factors. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, boss ass bitch. <laughs> or they're just, I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm threatening as fuck. Um, <laughs> the titties are probably, they feel like they're too big for them. <laughs> You're too pretty for them. You're like, eh, who are you need high so maintenance? I'm, I'm going to walk up to them and be yeah. like, uh, so, form? Una <laughs> die. <laughs> Una die. <laughs> Yes or no, nah, nigga. Let me tell you something. When the spy is so sweet, let me tell you. When the spy is so sweet, let me tell you something. When the spy is so sweet, let me tell you. I've been hitting on people and I don't know their names. So, like, how do you address them? <laughs> babe, sweetie, <laughs> honey. Um, if you notice, I use a lot of pet names. Yeah. Hi, babe. Hi, sweetie. That's Hi, how you, you know, know you don't remember. She doesn't remember your name. No, some of them I remember then. Okay. Fuck, I just gave myself out, didn't yes, I? Yes, she did. On that point, welcome back <laughs> to Double Sided Tape. This episode 54. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, this is episode 54. <laughs> I'm Nimra. I'm Ashley. And we're back, baby. We're back. Yes, sir. Last, If you haven't checked out last week's episode, please go check it out. Episode 53, we had Boutros in and he brought some sauce yeah. to the podcast. So go check it out. Like, comment, share, subscribe to The Good Company and... Always fuck with us. Thank Always you. Always fuck with us. How's your weekend? Yo, I'm drowning. Oh, I saw you went on like a little painting thingy. Oh, what is that? That was yeah. fun. I was, I was about to start with how I'm drowning. I have assignments, but that's something good we can talk yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. Well, it was fun. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I should bring this up on the pod or not. Mm, let me think about it. No. But I'll bring it up another Girl. time. <laughs> but anyway, that was really fun. I was invited for a paint and sip. Yeah. And I was just like, you know, why not just go? Now, here's the thing. The paint and sips that I've gone for before, like the artist take, takes you through like yeah. the painting. Yeah. Like they'll tell you to follow step by step or they'll tell you just paint your own shit. Mm. Now for this event, we had to paint the gin cocktail that we made. So first we did, we made our little own gin cocktail and we had to paint it, yeah. which was very new to me. I had never painted a glass before in my life, mm -hmm. but it was so fun. It looked like fun. Yeah. I had to kidnap Andy for that. And yeah. I, like they're like, come with one friend. I'm like, hmm. Andy is always the, the handbag friend. Exactly. Like Andy is... Not in a bad way. Also, I'm, I'm Andy's handbag friend, so I sh I, I'm fine to talk about this. Yeah. He's a friend who, when you have something to do and you're just like, ooh, we need someone fun, someone chill, you know. Or someone who's willing to do, explore new explore things. Explore new things as yeah. well. Andy's the one that you just... Be like, are you <laughs> <free?"> <laughs> So the funny thing is he thought we are all going. So it's because we want, we've, we've been talking about going to Puffing Caterpillar. Mm. By the way, that's like a really dope place. Puff, what? Puffing Ca Caterpillar. Crafty or Puffing? Puffing. Where is that? It's, I can't like give the location because oh, we're, mind, we're chomeying mind. for them. Never mind. Okay. But yeah, so it's one of those locations that we lot like. We lot? Me, I was not invited. Well, <laughs> obviously, when the final plan is final, then... Your call. This is one of those times when we're sitting and just talking about things you can potentially do. And they're like, let's go and do a paint and sip. Then, in fact, that was what Nev and I were thinking of doing for our birthdays. Oh, it's like a week apart. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, let's combine it and we do a paint and sip at cute. Puffing, call everyone, and then just have a chill event. Mm. But anyway, um, where was I going with this? Oh, your weekend. Oh, yeah. Calling so anyway, Andy and painting. I called Andy. He's like, yeah, cool. <clears throat> Let's 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 go for it. And yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the thing is, the dress code was pink and orange, which I really like that everybody followed because people don't like following dress code. Yeah, that's annoying. It's, dreamy, nee, nee. it's very annoying. I know it's difficult. Like it's hard sometimes to get these colors and to. But I think if you just put a bit of an effort. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, come like through. I didn't have a pink dress, but I had a pink top, and I'm like, we can make it work. There we go. Close enough. How's your week? How the beach? You had something else to say before I interrupted with. You're drowning. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I've reached, like, my mentals are not mentaling. And I think I've been saying this for a while. And I'm waiting for maybe <laughs> March to hit, which is, like, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, yeah. when this is dropping, it's, like, deep in, knee deep into March. Into March. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think, eh, I don't feel like doing shit. Like, have you ever, f I don't know if you've ever felt like... You're super excited to do something, but your body's not cooperating. 
like mentally like i want to do the po- like i want to do lots of things i have to strategize need to come with creative ideas it's nice to think about it yeah, but yeah. your body just does not the execution yeah. i was having a conversation with a friend of mine today about the same thing mm. cuz i was telling her like i had been sitting in the office and i wasn't able to do shit yeah but i had so much work and i'm just like yeah, like i just can't do shit <clears throat> and she's like my lord i know that feeling when you're so overwhelmed you don't know where to start mm. so i was just like yeah i haven't done shit i'm just like sitting here and i have so much work and i know that it's going to get to a point where i'm just like fuck i have to do all this at, like with a shorter time given yeah. and she was just like like she hears me overwhelmed overwhel- when you're overwhelmed mm. that happens a lot where your body just like shuts down and it can even be like emotionally or physically or emo- emo- i said emotion- mentally mm. um so yeah, yeah yeah like definitely i feel like a lot of people go through the same thing yeah where you have so much to do and you don't know how to do it or where to start or you know Yeah it happens. Yeah. yeah it happens. So I'm just waiting for the phase to get over. I'm like now the thing is I'm waiting. I'm just like Why okay, can we get it over with mm. so that we can move on because obviously I'm not going to remain in this state for the rest of the year. Are you doing something to get yourself out of it? Out of it? I can't do anything. That's the point. Like it's just hard to move. You can do nothing that's something. That's what I'm trying to do chill. I'm trying to avoid Oh no people. no like you can do something that's nothing but it's something. Like put yourself in like a like in, in a zen space oh. or you got what I mean? Like it's not I actively get, doing like rest but in different ways. In different ways mm. instead of like sitting in your negativity you sit in positivity whereby you're just like I know I've been hanging <laughs> out with Andy. She sounds like too. Andy. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> so I give her the face. So. I'm just like <laughs> so don't give me Andy when DST I'm give aware. me Ashley I'm aware but I'm a change like my, my I know you're deep yeah, and I'm not deep <laughs> but like my mindset has really changed right yeah a lot of shit has been happening like all, a lot of people are acting funny a lot and I'm just <laughs> like honestly I'm just gonna keep my own little zen I'm gonna be in my own little zen bubble and I really don't care like mm. what anybody what energy anybody else is giving me because immediately I start feeding into that energy then I'm gonna become that person <laughs> so you know or then I'm gonna start giving that person that same energy yeah. and I don't want to do that <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit in my own little energy anybody who's giving me bad vibes I'm keeping them very far away from me unless i meet them you sound like a spiritual body <laughs> let me tell you i've had a Just great because, ass weekend yeah very stressful yeah um because work was bloody following me and i don't understand why it was following me and i was out of office which really pissed me off mm. so after that it got to a point where i just i, I, I literally just went like you know what <laughs> fuck it what's the worst that can happen right yeah did you what's, quit what <laughs> I wish. Oh, okay. <laughs> the way she's saying it, I'm like, did you quit or something? I, did, I, did. <laughs> I thought about it. Yeah. I thought I thought about like this week. I shouldn't say this on the pod. I thought about I thought about just waking up and not doing shit, right? Go live in my own little like bungalow and make candles and shit. Um, but then I was just like, we don't give up on life. Like we just we won't give up. Yeah. There's so much for living. So I've just been I've been taking each day as it comes. I almost cried like two times today, but I was fine. I was just like, don't cry, just laugh about it. But I need a crying session. But the weekend was but, very hectic. Work yeah. was following me, and I was just like, y'all niggas know where the fuck I am. Mm. Y'all niggas know what the fuck I'm doing. But you still have the audacity to 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 ring me up to ask for work that anyway, complicated. Um and after like at night we got we got back to our Airbnb and I was so stressed and I'm just like okay what how do they want me to do this mm. like I don't have what I need to actually execute this then we decided to go out and I shut that laptop and I was just like <laughs> fuck it <laughs> let's go <laughs> I think that's the attitude we need this week honestly Let, let's go and my friend was just like now on 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 Monday when we were coming back mm. my friend was just like did anyone die I'm like no she's like is anybody ever going to die if you do not if you do not do things when they're needed urgently and it's like no nope. no I'm mm-hmm. still going to do it but no yeah so yeah I'm I've come with a different I I think mindset. that comes a lot with um being an overachiever yeah yeah you know like when you when you you know the thing is when you know you're good at something you know you're motherfucking good at something but then when you're not able to do it at the full potential because of external factors mm-hmm. 
then you're just like, what's the point? And I'll tell you something. Yeah. After I came back, I've been in my head a lot. Mm. Like, I'm telling my friend, the, the only person I'd like talk about this shit with in the office, I'm telling her like QA my work. And she's yeah. just like, do you need me to actually? I'm like, I'm in my head. She's like, you're in your head. Get out. Mm. Like, get out of your head. I'm like, okay. Maybe I've done a shit job. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't think I have. So, I don't think so. You know, too. just being in your head, which you need to stop, guys. Look at us reaffirming ourselves on the podcast. <laughs> like, we're both in our heads and we're both <laughs> telling you that, oh, just live a day at a time while we are in, in our, our heads. heads. <laughs> but it's fine to be in your head. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay yeah. to feel these things because at the end of the day, they're, the, they're what makes you greater. They're what make you greater. Yeah. English. They're what... They won't make you great, sir. Not awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you're stumbling because now you're starting to sound a lot too motivational. I'm not used to this shit, to be honest. I'm like, I'm like, the fuck is she throwing these motivational words around for? <laughs> but yo, my weekend was dope. I talked about this on the mics, but yeah. I'm still gonna talk about it here. I went to Kisum City. I told Hey. Hey. Kisum City. Yeah. <laughs> I had fish. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I thought will come from the fish. I don't know if I thought it would be fishy. The fuck you mean? But because it, it's like the lake is right there, you can literally oh, catch so your fish. Oh, you expected like like it to taste fresher, Ama? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I expected. Like to taste different. But it just tasted like fish. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, had a bomb ass time. Went to a club. It's yeah. called Black Pearl. Uh -huh. Um, we had a ball. We had a ball. The men in Kisumu have audacity. Like they stare at you, and right? Like, they look at you. If you look at them, <laughs> they continue looking look at, at you. Look at me, look at the Austin. Stop it. So, it was up, creepy. <laughs> oh, what? You good? I'm, I'm shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was, it was creepy. Yeah. But it was just like, <laughs> okay, I'm, I must be fine, fine then. Of course, you're fine, fine. What do you mean God I must damn. be? Um, so, yeah, we had a, we had a great, great time. Um, it was a send off, but the send off was beautiful as well. Beautiful yeah. send off, um, and of course, you know you got a disco matanga as well. <laughs> of course, it's the culture. You got a disco yeah. matanga. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we had we had a we had a bl blast. Really great places to hang out in Kisumu as well. There's that little fish place we went to. Yeah. Um, we went to like Kiboko Bay or something. Hide. I don't remember. Yeah. We went to hide out. Hide out. Mm -hmm. Hide out as well, which was really really cute. That's a place with the nets. Oh, the one the, that's like the Watamu place, yeah. but now the Kisumu place. Yeah, exactly. That's that pretty was, interesting. That was fun. Then um, the last night, my my best friend's brother wanted to take us out to like the club club. I wanted to ask you, I'm like, how's the club? Like, give us the scene, the setting in the club club. Was, like, is it like Nairobi where everyone's like in their own to click click or just or because it's Kisumu, it's slightly smaller. People are more friendly. Like, you know, uh, in Eldoret, guys are friendly. Yeah. Like... You don't even know each other, but you'll be in each other's table. I think, no, not necessarily. Also, we're like up up, up at the VIP section. You were many, section. Alafu, right? And we were many. Yeah, we were like yeah, 12 yeah. niggas Squad. deep. Yeah. Mm. And then we're like three babes and like just 12 <laughs> niggas. Just bare guys. Just bare niggas. Yeah. Um, but no, people were like sitting in their own little spaces. Like they were minding their own. But okay. I, friendly, I don't know. Mm. I wouldn't, I was very lit. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think I clocked that. I was just vibing with my tribe. Mm. Um... But yeah, generally it was a great experience. It was hot. It, oh, it was hot. I, I like how a week ago we were talking about how Kisumu, even Kisumu is not that hot. And then you get a Kisumu and now it's boiling. Sweetheart, <laughs> it was hot. Yeah. Nobody told me Kisumu was, actually no, I was told it was hot. Yeah, Kisumu, I but thought so. But I was pegging on the fact that there's going to be wind. Yeah. There's no wind. There's no breeze. It's still. Unless you're next to the lake, right? Even the lake barely had, the, barely, really? barely. Barely. Um, it's only at some point where it rained and there was a little bit of wind. Mm. Uh, Y'all need to warn us. You need to warn us, Austin. What's up? You, <laughs> why didn't you warn me that it's still air? Mm, you at least you enjoy the food, right? I did. I don't know about <laughs> Look that. at the way. I wish there was a and camera on Austin. The also, the ugali is made to the T. Yeah. It's, Jesus Christ. It's 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 secondary to none. Like. You have to know how to cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. If you lose. Facts. Yeah. Your it, food has to be impeccable. Perfect. I might just go back to Luo Men. 
That's what I was. I was just thinking. These guys have quite a bit working for them. Not the food. <laughs> not the. Mm. Eh, not the. Uh, mm. Not the. Uh, uh, not the uh. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking about the. Uh, 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 I'm seeing your notes here. Oh my lay. What's the second one to the last? Oh wait. The second. Oh, which one do you want to tackle? Let's let's talk about the babes. The yeah. babes. Yeah, that's what you want to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, second yeah. to last. That's what I was going for. So I was having a conversation. With Andy, of course. <laughs> of course. Because <laughs> that's like the male voice in my life. Um, so anyway, <laughs> we're talking about how women suppress the fact that they want to smash when they're in the friend zone with a man. Mm. Like, yeah. So let's say like now, okay, I don't want to use our friends as an example because that's different. But let's say now you and Austin... <laughs> Even that's different, but anyway. <laughs> He's so very anyway. excited. You're getting the man very excited. Look at like, him. Uh, uh, uh. We need the truth come back. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, for example, you and Austin are friends. And now, because this is what, this was my point of the argument, that the reason why women don't rush to tell their male friends that they want to fuck yeah. is because for them, they value the friendship outside the P in the V a, a little bit more Mm. so they wouldn't necessarily necessarily rush because let's face it we both have male friends who are just friends like yeah. there's nothing going on and you actually like having their perspective and if you let's say had those kind of thoughts in your mind about them but at the same time you're unsure about the other party you wouldn't yeah. really actively go and be like hey you wanna fuck unless they're like clear clear signals Unless he comes and asks you, right? No, no, not necessarily. Yeah. Unless they're like clear, clear signals. Mm. Like I have one too many friends who are you a signal babe? Let's. I, I, am I, a I, I want babe. to like yeah. Sorry I for am. diverting. Mm-hmm. But I'll make sure, and and I'm the one who's gonna prompt the signal. Okay. Because I'll probably say something mm-hmm. um, that will prompt the signal in one way or another. <laughs> like for him to be like, "Oh, you're down." Yeah. Or for for the mandem to be like maybe answers something like we, we shall fuck and is this like finally mm. that's a, that's a that's a prompt or yeah. you know that's very direct that's direct maybe if we say something like um if, if we should eventually maybe let's make babies you know what's what i mean or that's still you could direct. be my sugar dad my my sh- my, my okay, baby not, daddy or my something baby daddy or something you yeah, get what i mean get you and like the person flirt is around like, and then see if they take it seriously if they take it seriously eh. the way they respond is actually what's gonna make you be like oh so he's into it okay you can run with it so do you then agree with like my side of the story about babes not actively asking straight away because they value the friendship. I think men value friendships as well. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't fully agree, but yeah. I agree. Because men do value friendships as well. Because I've been in situations where um, the, my, the individual understands that if we move on with, you know, just a mm. fuck for fun, mm. it's probably going to end up to be something more than. And mm-hmm. the friendship wouldn't be... As it should. Because now Andy was giving me a different perspective. Mm -hmm. He goes like, oh, um, it could be that the man, like men just say what they want to say. Like, because they'll just come and ask you. The worst you'll say is no. And then you're still friends and then you move on. But girls wouldn't just throw it in and easily. Because we overthink everything. So that's what I was saying. I'm just like, I think girls think a lot more about, I don't, because. Th- a lot of factors. Yeah. He, you both have a point, to be honest. Yeah. You both do, because it's true. Men will just say something and be I like, not care. fuck it. Yeah. What's the worst that, that's going to happen? You yeah. know? Cool. We're going to move on with the same energy. Mm-hmm. If a babe says, if the babe, if a babe asks it outrightly mm. um, and she gets a no, I feel like also the emotions are going to be a little bit more than yeah. where, where, when a man asks, because now it's going to be like, oh shit, he doesn't even like me. Oh shit. Then you're going to start acting weird. Pin, actually, do you think it's because women don't get rejected enough? Like guys who are rejected. So then they're just like, yeah, it's cool. It's just another no, and then I can move yeah, on. Yeah, now yeah. with babes, like for us, first of all, you're doing the approaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get, hey. Listen, I've been approaching and I've got enough blue ticks. Maybe it's because... Have you got a nose? No. Yeah. I've just gotten blue ticks. But then later on, I realized why I've gotten blue ticks. Why? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> That's not to be said on the <laughs> podcast because I will be incriminating myself. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so no, I've never gotten an outright no. 
an outright. I've never asked and okay, the times that I've asked, I've never gotten an outright no. But they've also not been too many times that I've asked. Maybe like twice. I'm always asked. Okay, not always, but Yeah, you're always asked, but you never ask. Like Like I'm always asking. Also, oh, I'm always asking. asking, but not necessarily. I ask when I'm really, really sure that that's, that's person, the one. You know, or, or this person is not gonna make the first um mm. the first move because of certain factors yeah, like yeah. you know boss ass bitch <laughs> or they're just I'm, yeah oh yeah i'm threatening as fuck um <laughs> the titties are probably they feel like they're too big for them <laughs> you're too pretty for them you're like eh, who you need high so maintenance I'm, I'm gonna walk up to them and be yeah. like uh so form <laughs> una die <laughs> una die <laughs> yes or no nah, nigga <laughs> But no, I get what you're saying, for sure. I don't know, because for me, I would never... I I ask if I... Like, if you've really th- like gotten me thinking about you, like yeah. thinking, thinking, yeah. then yeah. But let's say if you're at a club and you're attractive and I'm feeling you, I'd still not ask. Really? Well, asking, maybe not. Like, I, I still wouldn't... Approach the person? No, I've now, that's the problem with me. If I now like you... I'll retract immediately because yeah. now I like you. Yeah, you yeah. Get. So now and no, no. Now it's just like I get super conscious compared to let's say you like me, yeah. And I'm just playing around. I will play. I will play around. I will. Fl- That's I will fucked flirt. up. <laughs> but like, if it's me, I kind of get nervous, and I'm just like, what if he doesn't like me? This is the year where Nimrat is gonna approach men. I ain't approaching nobody. Listen, it's as easy as walking up to a, per- a man and going like, "Hi, I think you're very handsome." They say thank you, and you move out. You f- you move on. Like you literally walk away. I've done that so many times. Yeah. And then later on, you realize the man is actually, you know, he's been looking at you too. Also, I only yeah, do I'm that. I'm so scared, bro. I only I do that. that. Is that oh. your version of uh, hitting on, a, on men? Do you no, think I'm just, that, I'm just do making... You, do you think that kind of raise works on us? Mad. Like, <laughs> the amount of times the mandem has actually walked Have back up to me. Have you seen me? Like, you walk up to me telling me that you're handsome. I'll just tell you that's common knowledge to me. Ah, uh, when him jalu. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's no, a bad I, word. Cancel I, I, that I'm, out. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like, put a little bit more effort. Bro. Raising me up. As no, a I'm saying, wait, I'm saying that's a first approach. Okay. That's a first like approach. Like icebreaker. Yeah. Like, Stranger. And let me, let, me, let me put it in context, right? Usually, I will only approach a man when I see him seeing me, seeing him, mm. seeing me, seeing each other. Cross right? And I'm like clearly to break this one of us has to do something mm. and it's clearly not gonna be you yeah. right but you, we're clearly looking at each other we're clearly clearly giving each other like a little <laughs> yeah little I, looks. <laughs> you know so my approach will be just walking by the man or walking towards the man when i'm in when i'm on the way mm. to somewhere and he's on the on the mm, on the mm. on the corridor <laughs> and i'll be like hi i think you're a very handsome man They'll say thank you. If they want me to stay a little bit longer, then I'll start raising them up. Yeah, I right? get what you mean. Then I'll start asking them questions or, you know, That's asking you them kind about... of showing them that you're open to having a conversation. Like, you see, with babes, they can be quite abrasive. Like, you can scare a guy yeah, off. Yeah, so yeah. now you're going to say you look nice is you putting your guard down. Like, you can yeah, come approach now we can, me. Like, let's talk to each other. And mm. honestly, 99% of the times, that shit works. Man. Literally 99% of the times I've done that, the man either he says something at that moment yeah. or he's a little bit too shocked mm. and he'll, he's taken a bag so he's not going to say shit and then later he's going to approach. Wait, I it just, do, I, I, I'm too scared, man. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. Mm. So, so scary. Are we planning to learn this year? <laughs> It's the year of know. new things, innovations. The, the way my year is going, I've been doing things I never expected I will do, <laughs> like just generally in my life. Yeah. And I've been in spaces where I didn't think I'd be in. So we could probably try this That's one. a good thing. Because I'm about to try some foreign stuff and I'm thinking about it because I'm, I'm in some talking stage, but it's like culture shock, bro. Is culture it? Culture shock Nishida. Is it? Me, I, told, I was telling Kelly earlier because like we came down with um, Kelly to the studio. By the way, I know you loved Kelly on the podcast. Yes. Yeah, just keep watching. <laughs> keep watching it on repeat <laughs> until she comes back. <laughs> until she comes back for sure. Uh, yeah, but um, I was just telling Kelly, I think... Nairobi has shown me steam. 
in very many different situations actually mm. yo now that i think about it including kisumu by the way just saying <laughs> <laughs> it's like you don't know the Kisumu men are here too, sweetheart. <laughs> From CIA. Correction. <laughs> so sorry. Close <laughs> enough, bro. <laughs> so I was just like, let, let, let's explore the foreign lands. And we're like, okay. Where are the foreign lands, though? Eh, that's revealing too much. Okay. But out of, out of Africa. Okay, okay. Yeah, like that foreign land. So out of Africa. Going back to your mother. <laughs> mother roots. Mother roots? Is that what it's called? Sorry. That's predominantly what I'm done from South Asia. I didn't I said foreign land. So foreign is also foreign to South Asian cuz Oh, I see what you're saying. My bad. Okay. But that's a good joke. I didn't let Thanks. you land. I didn't even land it properly. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Go on. But yeah, I think the culture shock is serious cuz we're just conversing in some words that i say he doesn't understand like so you know some sentence formations it's like it's not making sense yeah so um and it's also me to blame because now i'm so used to talking about people who share the same culture as i do and there's a time i asked him i'm like do you like beach or the bundus and he goes like what the hell are the the bundus bundus. and i'm like oh (laughs) shit i'm like uh how do i explain this I don't want to say... Oh, you can't say you can't, shag. You can't let your country... You can't say village, right? No, you can't say village, but that's what they understand, right? I said the bush. Oh, the bush. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. But okay. Now imagine all of that effort in a conversation. That's my point exactly. Oh, like you really have to think like through what you point, have to say. Yeah. But honey, it's, it's all about effort, don't you think? Maybe that's what I'm lacking. <laughs> the effort? Yeah. Well, probably. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, even talking stages require effort. I've not been in a talking stage for seven years. So, yeah, this is kind of surprising. <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> wah, wah. Oh, it does. It does require talking stage actually How requires more. How do you warm. guys do that? Am I having talking stage? Can we call them talking stage? You do have some talking stages, I'm sure. I don't talk to nobody on my phone. My phone is so dry. <laughs> don't say that. Honey, no, it's true. Like, I rarely talk to anybody. Yeah. The only time I talk to someone is when I'm trying to get some. Um, mm-hmm. But that's already... Yeah. But Th- that's equal an objective. It's got an yeah, objective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we already have a formed relationship. So yeah. we understand each other. Yeah. Like, I think the only conversations, the only talking stages I have are, like, on my Insta and Snapchat. Where That's it's just like, to- okay. is it? No, it's not like yeah. conversation on conversation. It's just like random, random memes, and then not even memes. Like, like I'll smile at a picture, and yeah, then they'll touch be like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You, yeah I get you. You touch base, and then <laughs> and then off, you dip, and then yeah. dip, dip. I can't do now. The problem is I can't do that with this guy because he has no socials. Because that's ideally uh, my talking uh, stage. Like if you t- talk to me about a talking stage, it's not texting on whatsapp for yeah. me now it's those touch bases hey you got your, y'all niggas texting on whatsapp because he doesn't have social that's what i do with my auntie <laughs> thank you and i'm just like i asked him i'm like i haven't asked him why he doesn't have socials but he just mentioned he's like i don't have social that's a great conversation though like do i i don't want to know why he doesn't have socials me i've had i have ptsd because that's how my ex mandem was like, I don't have socials. And then he gets on socials when he's with me. He's definitely on socials. So, no, he did say, he's like, yeah, I do have like TikTok to scroll. How did you meet? Uh, a friend recommendation. Oh, okay. Yeah, a friend was like, you know, I think you guys might like each other. And I'm like... And they're okay. not in the country. Sorry? They're not in the country. They're not in the country. But they do hop into the country. Oh. Yeah, so. And I'm like, ideally, that's great. Because now, you know, when you're here, when you're not there. Cool. But now you have to keep up the talking. That's a problem. I'm just like, I don't know. Maybe I should ask him to join Instagram so I can touch base. <laughs> this fucking touch, but TikTok is a great place to touch base, though. He said he doesn't have an account. He just scrolls on it. And a bow. Right? <laughs> And then wait, no, I hope he doesn't watch this because this is not gonna be too nice, is it? I really don't care. Cause That's I'm not nice. No, because honestly, no, no, no. Let's <laughs> let's be objective here. If this is um something I'd also tell you, like I would tell him, like if he if this conversation came up between me and him about yeah. him not having socials, imagine Tamwambia Nabo. Okay, so, so are you still chilly chatting with the man? Um, yeah, like once in a while. Oh, okay, that's not bad then. Yeah, we're just 
it, like we're not texting all day and stuff because of the time difference. Oh yeah, there's that. There's that as well. So but you're, just, en- you're enjoying it clearly because you're, you're still doing it. I want to see what he's about because obviously we're at that stage where the ice is not completely broken and I feel like this, you know, when there's potential in someone, so you give them yeah, some yeah, time. Yeah. This, yeah. this is a disclaimer to the man who's seeing, talking to Nimrat. <laughs> Don't watch this episode. Please have this as the first bit of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good tease. <laughs> To that man, do not watch, <laughs> do not, in caps, in bold, watch the, the rest of this episode because you won't be too happy and I want our girl to be happy and I want you to, to be, be happy ha- too. Why are you- We'll recommend a couple of them. Why are you thinking of this man, them and not me? Because I care Bitch. about people. Uh, see, but I've just said I want my girl to be happy. The fuck? <laughs> But you also said, but I want you to be happy. What are you looking to watch? Sorry, it's beeping over here. Oh, I'm just, I was like, just like, is it my are we, heart? Are we... <laughs> Yo, let me tell you. I've been uh-huh. very scared lately. <clears throat> Why? Um, and I th- my mom said it might be blood pressure. Mm. I, just, I told you how I passed that some random Sunday. You did mentioned I... it on the mics. Did I? It, that it was I so did. hot that you passed out on yeah, the yeah, mics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, like I wasn't hydrating properly, yeah. like a lot of things, right? And for me, I was just like, oh shit, I'm having a heart attack. Mm. Nothing to joke about, right? So I understand, like the substances that will make you feel funny. Boom, boom, boom. You know? Mm. Yeah, like alcohol really yeah. raises your heartbeat and shit like that. Yeah. So when we're on the trip, I, I was start feeling like my arm was feeling like funny, right? And I was mm. feeling like weakish and whatever. So recently, a friend is having blood pressure issues, right? And before that, like a week before, my good friend, <clears throat> the mom was in hospital because of blood pressure. Are you crazy? That's mad. I know, because of blood pressure. So she's been telling me about all the symptoms and she was just like, Ash, we got to go get checked. Mm. Then now this happens to my friend as well, blood pressure. Mm. And I'm just like, all the symptoms sound like what I've been going through. You know, the yeah. feeling weak. Um, the Guys, please look after yourselves. The, the feeling weak, the weird, the like, numbing, the tingling. tingling on your Ooh. arm. And every time I feel it, I'm just like, I'm having a heart attack. It's all. So I, I usually like monitor my watch. That's why I've been wearing oh, my watch yeah, like a lot. I was just like, yeah, I've not, you don't usually wear, wear it like that. Yeah. yeah. So if it's not this, it's a Garmin one. Yeah. So I've been feeling it a lot. Have a you lot, checked lot. your blood pressure? I need to go check my blood pressure because mm-hmm. a lot of times like my heart rate is so elevated it's wild i don't know if that's a factor for her blood like yeah. high blood pressure it, it is, is isn't it, it is. and randomly and it, mm. uh, you before i just used to be like huh? mm. and i proceed with whatever the fuck i was doing but now it's becoming noticeable it's consistent yeah so it's now freaking me out so guys like take care of yourselves go for your checkups dehydrate relax that's why i'm becoming susan <laughs> <laughs> i was just looking at, yeah I, I get what you mean yeah. yeah you're trying to neutralize your body from stress yeah yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much pretty yeah. much i mean even if it's like i feel like our our industries it's stress induced just generally stress induced mm. and we need to find a way to remove ourselves from that yeah. or you're you're gonna you're gonna Yo, go. sometimes you don't realize until now you reach the point where I think now that's where we are at a point of that. Men- that's now where the mental fatigue is starting to come in because yep. now you're consistently in a high stress zone. Fact. But eh. Mm-hmm. But transition. But transition. Let's go. Okay, I'm, I'm picking this one. <clears throat> right. I wanted to talk, talk about, should we talk about Omale? Because now I just feel like. Not in a bad transition. We'll, we'll get we'll to get that to one. We'll get to that. <laughs> <clears throat> Someone was hating on people who wear sunglasses indoors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do that because your nails look better. Just use both. I know. <laughs> use both. Are you seeing how I'm just like flattering my <laughs> nails around? The cute art. I broke one. That's Don't ask me what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was at war. <laughs> Austin. War? Austin. No, Austin. Austin's been misbehaving. Did you see his Snapchat the other day? No. Do I say what I do I say what you posted? I can say. So he posted a picture of his of his arm and then he said something to do with you know what they say about this. I, I was like, can you behave yourself? Oh, stop. <laughs> 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 
stop. <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> That's so, so funny. <laughs> I have this thing where uh, for my friends, I have a friend called Johnny John, right? Mm. Every time he misbehaves, I call him John T. You get it? Yeah, because Kevin, Kevo, Brio, Bri- Brio, Brian, Brio. Exactly. And then Jim, Jimmy? Jimmy what? No idea. So which are the other names? May I know like Briard Kevo because those are the ones that I talked about in Kenya. I don't know. But yeah, Johnny John is called John T when he misbehaves. So Austin is going to be called Osto when he misbehaves. But good for you, babe. Nelson, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, about the sunglasses. Um, first, you're really just attacking Andy for no <laughs> <laughs> he needs to lose those sunglasses. <laughs> no. Austin, Austin has such a big problem with those sunnies. And it's so hilarious <laughs> to me to date. Because I'm about to come with my sunglasses too. Yeah, I remember. It's fine. I, I kind of got used to it. You gave up? Yeah. <laughs> I remember an, an interaction they had about those sunglasses. It was like a father yeah, yeah. and a son. Like it wasn't like, you know, it's, it was really like a father and son relationship that can you not wear the sunglasses? But what's wrong with the sunglasses? <laughs> they don't look, they don't communicate emotion on set. But they usually communicate, and yeah, th- that whole thing for me was hilarious. But you know, this person's logic for saying that. <laughs> Um, the person who was hating on these sunglasses indoors mm-hmm. was saying that, oh, people wear sunglasses indoors so that they can seem mysterious. And in my head, I'm like, bitch, I'm just too fucking high. I don't want you to see my makeup. I'm like, so my bad. mascara is rolling right here. I'm just trying to hide my eyes, bro. Like, relax. That's <laughs> a very valid point, babes. Yeah. That's a very valid point. Also, lights. I personally hate lights. Like, like don't, don't, don't give... <sighs> I'll wear sunglasses so that I can avoid lights, mm. so that I can avoid you seeing how lit I am, <laughs> <laughs> and so that you can, I, can, I can avoid you seeing how runny, as you said, my yeah. mascara, my eyeliner, or my makeup generally is. Personally, I sweat a shitload, right? I feel like we already know this. Yeah. Everybody who knows me knows this. Like, I'm, I'm consistently sweating. I can sit and I'm sweating. This yeah. right here, it comes off. My eyeshadow is not the same mm-hmm. from two hours ago, honey. It's and gone. Also, we move. <laughs> like I feel like um, you're younger millennial, yeah, and I'm like almost millennial too. And like we go to the club. Just say you're Gen Z, babes. <laughs> I'm older Gen Z. I'm not young Gen Z. Like I can relate. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I, guys, I know what cassette tapes are. I, I know what... I'm looking at Austin's face. I know what videos, videotapes are. I know how they look and how they work. Anyway. Cute. <clears throat> <pretty> cute. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, what was I saying? Did you miss how? Yeah, oh, anyway, we, we go to the club mm. to dance, to move. And but then, obviously, at some point, your mascara is going to just go. And if you're anything, you know, sometimes your lipstick also goes everywhere. Now, that you can't cover, but your eyes, you can cover, Ooh, right? It's my life. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. You know, the, the thing is, have you, do you ever think about your lip combo when you're going out based on someone you're going to see? I feel like you know me well enough to know I don't have lip combos. I just have No, this, I mean gloss, this. right? <laughs> no, but do, don't you ever, like, think about... Oh. I don't know, going to make out with someone, like whenever you're going out, let's say, for example, you know you're going to see someone you're going to make out with. Do you consider that in your brain? Because, like, for me, I wouldn't do a red lip then. Oh, I don't, I rarely wear lipstick, firstly. Not anymore. Like, when I was younger, I remember when I was in uni, I used to wear my Ruby Woo. Whoa. Mm. You remember Ruby Woo, the MAC one? Oh, my God. I'm obsessed. I have a picture of me in a red lip in uni. So embarrassed. And the uh, Mal... What is it called? Mal, mal something 79. Or oh, the shade? The, the, the long one. The long, it's... Maybelline? No. I don't know. I'll remember it and plug you is guys. Is it a shade? What is it called? It's a lipstick brand. With M? That only used to be found in like Nakumat UK. I girl. I don't remember that shade. You, were you even there when no. Nakumat UK was around? <laughs> <laughs> that much older come on pretty much but anyway i used to wear lipstick a lot a lot but the goodness with the lipsticks i always used to wear they were matte and they used to like stick stick so it will barely like come off when you're making well it would but you always have a top up right but now i'm a simpler girl like i'm always i always go around with my carmex if you're pushing it it's the um lip gloss yeah the lip gloss that i have right now or like vaseline 
Mm. Those are my three go-tos consistently. Yeah. I always carry them. I always have them. So me making out with anybody doesn't, it doesn't it matter. It has no problem. I do, I mean, any day, any we're time. Good. The I, only thing I, I kind of freak out about is like when you wear foundation. Oh, it's the taste. You, there's the taste, mm. but also like, I, I wear very light makeup though. Yeah, like you don't wear, you don't cake up. You no. Know, yeah. But then does it usually show like when you've made no. out with someone? It doesn't, does no. it? Especially if you, because I've seen you do your makeup. Yeah, yeah. You don't put in too much foundation. You put like a small layer. Yeah. So that wouldn't show because half the time you've sweated it out already. Fact. You get. <laughs> so by then it's already like gone. It's done its job. It's done it's so it's good. Yeah. It's for the beginning of the night. It's Full just stop. for the entrance. Yeah, that's true. We're like, oh, I like that. Because I, like that. That. I have to think about my lip combo. Oh, you always do lip combos. You're the one who actually was telling me about yeah. the... Um, what is it called? The, the lip liner. Yeah, and gloss. Mm. I love that. I wish it was permanent, like a tattoo, but it's not. But I always consider my lip combo because there's one time... I <laughs> Do tell. There's one time I was wearing a red lip. And then I had not planned to do what I did. And then I did what I did. And then the problem is... The distance between where that happened and the bathroom was a bit of a distance. I had to walk. The only good thing, it's it was dark. That's yeah. what helped me. But I swear, if you bumped into me, you'd feel like, <laughs> eh, girl. Sis. Sis. Like, <laughs> is how, you? like, and then it doesn't even look like cute, like in the movies. Yeah. Like, you know, the way the red, red lip yeah, 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 looks yeah. in the movies. Oh, it's just a little bit of a hey. smudge. <laughs> Bullshit, they're lying to you. My whole mouth on the top was red and now in the bottom. Stop. <laughs> I was out there looking like a monkey, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Wait. And I was like, never again. Let me ask you on this makeout, makeout yeah. tip. I don't know how we ended up here, but great. Do you judge people by the way they make out? Make Based on how they make out? Yeah, we've said this so many oh, times. Oh, we have one here? Yeah. Oh. So Oops. many times. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because I meet people, I don't know, I meet people who make out really terribly. Wait, do you judge other people while they're making out? Let's talk about yeah, that. I Have do. you seen like two I people do. and be like... I do, <laughs> or, I do. Wow. It's fucked up. But at first day, I shouldn't even be looking at you when you're making out. But some of them, you're looking at, you look at it and be like, Damn, By accident. you're going to have some really great sex, aren't you? Then some of you, you look at it and you're like, um, <laughs> what the fuck did I just see? <laughs> It's yeah, it's 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 like in the middle of you and do you, you need help? Like, can I help you learn how to make out? Yeah. Or not like, everybody has their own style. Don't feel judged by us. No, you continue kissing. That's fine. That's not a problem. But it's for for me it's just like watching a movie. Yeah. And I'd look at you accidentally and be like, hmm, nice. Or if, mm, mm, eh, and then sometimes you feel you feel bad for the girl. You're like, guy, I, I mean, girl, I get he's but, handsome, but the way he's eating your face. I think it's a it's a two way thing, yeah. right? Like if someone starts making out with me and it's bad, I'm mm. gonna walk you through it until I feel like there's no way out of mm. this shit. Mm, mm, mm. Then I'm just like, yeah, fuck it. You, just can, you can guide them. Like, you can guide yeah, them. Yeah, you can guide their mouths. There's a way of doing that. Yeah, yeah like, like your hands, your mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or this way is it. Your tongue can guide them as well. Exactly. Listen. We should start a kissing booth. We should have a kissing booth. Ew. Hepatitis. No, we'll swab you for anything beforehand. Still. You guys, some people don't brush. Valid. Okay, never mind. I thought it was a great idea. No, no, no. I actually thought Unless, about it. Unless like it's a kiss on the cheek kind of kissing booth, that's fine. Do we pick who we can kiss on the mouth? Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> But like no, you, no you, I don't yes. feel like you, it, that would be nice. You pick a, you pick a, you, what is it called? A shuffle. Um, oh, that, no, 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 no. That's too risky for me. And then you get somebody who has bad breath. Maybe you're the one with bad breath. Honey, I never have bad breath. Just <laughs> Same, but you know, you never know. <laughs> but okay, no, I get you. The, the risks to this shit. Hey, that risk factor is too high. And then what if, yo. Speaking about risk factors, can we get into Omale? Risky. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to talk Risky. about what guys are saying. Oh, should she have, should she not have done this or done that? I am looking at this babe. She's fine as fuck. She's fine. Did you see that arch? The silhouette. Did you see that silhouette? Ooh, Can we just appreciate? And if you're a guy, honestly, 
I'm just sorry. Like, there's nothing else that you can tell that guy. By the way, um, do you know that guy actually scored a brand deal? Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I saw that on Twitter and yeah. I was like, that's insane. Yeah, like, the yeah. way that marketing has he's spun. He's getting money. He's gotten brand mark. That's why I, I, I mentioned this on the, on, the, on the mics and I said, I feel like it was strategic. Mm. So that they kind of get clout. Okay, but they would have never known that she would have been picked for for that little silhouette yeah. thing. Yeah. But honestly, I understand why you're mad. That baby's fine as fuck. Yeah. But either way, you shouldn't be mad because a win is a win. Like, how win is your win? Your babe was up, up there dancing. Thank Austin you. is looking at me so badly. Your babe was up there dancing with Omale and she gave us a show, honey. Now imagine if your babe was Kenyeji as fuck. <clears throat> so she's doing that bend and she can't even arch her back. Then what? Like You're she's proud. A, she Yeah, she actually, like, you know, if there are other guys looking at that babe and looking at you guys together, they'd be like, shit, I want that. Yeah. And you must be like, damn, fuck you. I have that and you don't. Sorry. Also, I feel like look deep down inside yourself. You know. Yeah. When such such such, such things <laughs> kind of upset you, like Omale is not necessarily attainable like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, unless you're in the same industry, he's not necessarily attainable. Yeah. So, it it's a one timer. They didn't even fuck. Also, it was a one timer. <laughs> if if it was my man and his favorite artist, like I know my man, and he's been obsessed with, let's say, Nicki Minaj, Jada Kingdom, or Jada Kingdom, uh, okay, or like, yes, Austin, <clears throat> give us some more. <laughs> I would be there. Once oh yeah, you will. Yeah. So if if my man was obsessed like with Nicki or Shansia or whatever, and I know this man has been obsessing over her, and then the one time she has a concert, and I buy him the ticket for us to go watch, and she calls him on stage. I'm like, go, go. Zari, go. go, go, go. I'll be the one taking the video. Exactly. I'll be hyping you yeah. the fuck up. Like, yeah. I'll be sharing the video and like, check out my man met his favorite. Because now I'm thinking about myself. If I've been obsessing over an artist, and I know this man. There's no other place I'll find him. I will take every opportunity. If anything, if you say no, I'd be so disappointed at you. Yeah. Like, I'd be extreme. I'd be mad at you. Yeah. I'd be like, what the, what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? In this fact, is a win for both of us. And this is a present for me to you in yeah. a way. Be like, I uh, here's the concert. Go get your little Do ass. your thing. Yeah. yeah like, do your thing. Take it in the face. It's yeah. fine. Also, your hair has really grown. It's already, I told you it was going to grow in like two months, right? God damn. Are you cutting it again? It's too expensive. I'm thinking of cutting it myself. Question I... to the girlies. <laughs> um, I've had the fro for a while. Last year, I think I had the, f uh, we've talked about this before. But we can talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the tied back hair, which I like, I'm not, I'm not straightened my hair in like two, three years. Yeah. I need mm -hmm. to cut my hair. I need to, to trim my hair. Split ends. Yeah, trim. Because I feel like it's <coughs> not, not growing as fast as it needs to because yeah. of that. Also, tell me where I need to... I, I can get like a proper silk press. I would, yeah. Girlies. Yeah, the girlies. girlies. Get on the comments. Tell me yeah. where to get a silk press that I will have me like, you know... Is that good for your texture of your hair? So, I have no idea what the texture of my hair is in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, silk presses, apparently there's a protective layer on it, ointment they put, like mm. oil they put that, um, helps maintain your curls or some shit like that. Okay. It's almost like a protect, I don't know, protective. Heat protectant? Heat protector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. My English is really just <laughs> not, not doing it for me today. My mind is mush. Um, so yeah, apparently there's a heat protector that they usually use and okay. then they do now the silk press itself. Oh, the straightener, you mean? That's what it's... Oh. No, 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 no. Like, there's an ointment they put for heat protection. I get that. I yeah. get what that the ointment is. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what you say mean by a silk press. A straightening... Oh, no. Thing like, to... I want someone to give me a silk press. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. I'm not about to do a silk press. Have you seen all this fucking hair? Yeah, because now me, I'm wondering. And I know, like, the heat damage thing. Because even now with my hair, it's it's this is the texture. Mm. And if I use, like, a straightening thing, I need a heat protectant. Because yeah. over time, it fucks up your hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, like, burns it and stuff. So I, I need a plug f who does great silk presses. Yeah. Um, and who does really great haircuts because I might go Kelly Rowland on, on your bitches. Have you seen that video? Yeah, I've seen it. And I'm thinking, I'm trying to picture it. And I'm like, right? Mm. Like, okay, not the, mm. uh, my face is too round. It's for too that. round, yeah. But mm -hmm. if you do it angled, it will make it look longer. Oh. If you do an angle, not oh. a straight, a straight now will make it look 
Okay. So if you angle it, yeah, that would look bomb. We, we'll figure it out. I'll, I'll, I'll go through a couple of like yeah. hairstyles and we see what works. Welcome to Nimrod's and Ashley's um, hair, hair classes. Ta- hair talk. Hair but the, the problem with hair talk is, I don't know. I'm struggling with mine. Do you know I don't like washing my hair anymore? I become Same. lazy as fuck. Same. Like this hair is only going to last two days. After two days, I'm going to have to put it in a bun. For the oh, next have you had days. it down for, but when you sleep, do you have it down or up? Down. I can't oh. sleep with my hair up. It's essentially good for you to cover it and sleep with a silk bonnet or something, but I can't. I get a headache. Oh, it's okay. I don't sleep with a silk bonnet. I don't, like my, my pillow covers are not silk. Like <laughs> me, I just wash my hair and I move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, pu- I put my oils, I put my sheer butter, I put whatever, and we're out of the door, baby. Unless now I have to like comb it and yeah. like tie it back, which I haven't done since last week. Maybe I you think. can do that. I want my one. silk press. I want to have a. I want to see what my hair will look like if I. It would look really. Actually, do it, it before you cut it, so you can see like the length. Facts. Yeah. But I want to do it when I'm going to like a really cute place where I have to dress up. And like put it's on, worth like, my it, right? Heels. Yeah. And you know, wear an outfit <laughs> that I haven't worn in a really long time, or you know, something kind of cute. Whatever. Yeah. Take me on a date, guys. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Hit me up. Take me on dates. Then I can do my silk press. She doesn't have time. I'm just joking. I do though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this has been the very random double-sided tape, but I like the conversations today, honestly speaking. Today there was some flow. I was like, hey, we got topics today from Brian that we'll not remember, but anyway. Oh, fuck, that's true. What's the title of this podcast? <laughs> we'll figure it Austin's out. looking at me. I'm like, we'll both wake up on Sunday be like, huh? I'm always <laughs> texting him, and I'm just like, um... And I reply like, like super late. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. Um, we'll be we'll try and make sure that we post this episode <laughs> in good time. Yeah. Um, but you know we're here for the vibes, babes. We're here for the vibes. Um, so yeah. On that note, thank you for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. All the love. Bye. 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 Oh, that one.